you can now green heavily contested jumpers every single time in season three. Now, how is this possible? Because the 2K Sweats figured out the absolute best jump shots in the entire game. And you know what the best part is? There's one for every single height in the game. It doesn't matter if you have a high three point rating or a low three point rating. In this video, I have the absolute best jump shot for your build. Get ready to be accused of using a Zen because the jumpers you're about to green are absolutely insane. What's up, Simply Squad? It's your boy, Green Light Grinding. And today, I got y'all with the absolute best jump shots in the game from build heights all the way from 5'7 to 7'3. Do me a favor, if your in real life height falls between 5'7 and 7'3, drop a like on the video and drop a sub with notifications on. And if it doesn't, that's too damn bad! I'm about to put y'all on, but I want y'all to do the same. If you got a chicken jump shot that you think is super underground and no one's using it, make sure to drop it in the comments down below as well as the release timing that you're using. Listen, bro, we can all eat and we can all have fun. Let's come together and make this game better. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even mean to make that rhyme, but y'all, I'm not trying to waste y'all's time. So let's start with the newer jump shots that people just started finding out about, and then we'll cover some classics that everybody's been using and that you should be using too. This video is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. And speaking of free cash, I just won $300 on Underdog this week. And you can too, because if you sign up using code grinding, Underdog will double your first deposit up to $100. That means that if you put in $10, they will give you $20 to make picks with. And with that $20, you can win up to 100 times that with these Scorcher picks, which are picks that have boosted multipliers attached to them. And on top of all that, Underdog offers special picks depending on when you sign up. For example, if you sign up before Sunday, you'll have access to this special Patrick Mahomes one yard pick. And if you sign up before Monday, you'll have access to this special Trevor Lawrence one yard pick. And the best part is no matter when you sign up, there is always a special pick promotion running. So make sure to click the link in the description and sign up for Underdog today. Thank you to Underdog for sponsoring this video and let's get into it y'all. All right y'all, we're actually gonna start with six foot five to six foot nine jump shots because in this height range of players lies the absolute best jump shot in the entire game, which is base Tracy McGrady, which is base Tracy McGrady, release one Oscar Robertson, release two Sadiq Bay, 100% release speed, and the blending is 64% Robertson, 34% Sadiq Bay. And the release timing you're gonna wanna use on this jump shot is push. No matter what you're used to, switch to push and get used to it with this jump shot. And the reason this is the absolute best jump shot in the entire game game is because you can green heavily contested jumpers like they're wide open. Literally just shoot the ball the same time every single time no matter who's in front of you and you will green more heavily contested jump shots than you will miss. I'm not kidding. Every single 6 foot 5 and 6 foot 6 guard in comp pro M is running this jump shot because of its ability to just pull over people no matter how good of defense is being played on you. And even if you're like me and you don't like taking heavily contested jumpers on this game, it is also super easy to time wide open. There's a reason it's the best jump shot in the entire game, and that's because it is versatile. Now, unfortunately, for this jump shot, you need at least an 87 mid-range or an 87-3, and I know a lot of y'all aren't gonna have that on your build. So the next jumper we're gonna cover is for my low three-point slash low three-point midi build. I'm sorry for not including this in the last jump shot video. Y'all got mad at me. Completely understand. This jump shot is chicken. If you have a 78 shot, shot rating or higher. The jump shot is base JT Thor, release one Tobias Harris, release two Dante Exum, 100% release speed, and the blending is 75% Harris, 25% Dante Exum. This has consistently been my main jump shot on every six foot eight build I make that has a low shot rating. And for good reason, this jump shot is ridiculously easy to time, bro. I use set point, arguably the most inconsistent shot timing in the entire game, and I shoot 65% from three on my six foot eight build on the twos with this jump shot. I absolutely love it. If you have a low three point rating build, consider putting this jump shot on. I'm telling you, you're not gonna find much better at a 78 or lower rating. This is as good as it gets. Another super popular base that has been hitting the scene of 2K24 is base Ben Shepard, release one Oscar Robertson, release two Sadiq Bey, and the blending is 93% Oscar Robertson, 7% Sadiq Bey. Again, if y'all been playing 2K24, T-Mag, Ben Shepard, and JT Thor 
is probably all you've heard of since the game came out, bro. But recently, Ben Shepard has taken the number one spot as the best jump shot in the game for six foot five through six foot nines. And honestly, you can see why on the animation screen right there. But I'm gonna show y'all in the Gatorade court. Ben Shepard is just as clean as T Max base, but it is 10 times faster and smoother. If I was to equip a new jump shot, it would be this Ben Shepard base. I'm actually considering it now that I'm using this jump shot in the Gatorade, bro. It feels ridiculously smooth. And the good thing about the releases we put on is that the visual cue is super easy to use. Like I said, I'm on set point, so I'm not really a visual cue shooter, but if you put this jump shot on push or release, you are going to be greening everything. And the best part is it doesn't suffer from the same thing that Team X suffers with. When your stamina is low, the jump shot is so quick that the slow timing still feels fast. So you're going to be greening with little to no stamina with ease. I'm telling you, this is the best jump shot for 6'5 through 6'9s. I'd be surprised if you don't like how this jump shot feels the first time you put it on. Base, JT Thor, release one Oscar Robertson, release two Carmelo Anthony, 100% release speed, and the blending is 81% Oscar Robertson, 19% Carmelo Anthony. Now this jump shot has been amazing for me ever since the first week of the game. Greening wide open is ridiculously easy. I can shoot over people, less than 20% can test without takeover. I can green 40% can test with takeover, but I do believe this jump shot got power creeped and is no longer the best jump shot in the game. It's just the jump shot that I'm really used to. So if you want to try this one out, I use set point. Obviously it's what I got used to. I really like it on set point. I'm going to keep using it on set point because I'm just really used to it. But you could also try this jump shot on push and see if you like it. And one more niche jump shot is this jump shot right here, specifically if you are a lockdown or a spot up build. Once again, you do not want to use this jump shot if you're trying to shoot off the dribble. But if you're specifically a spot up, this jump shot is chicken. And that jump shot is base Torian. Release one Drew Eubanks. Release two Oscar Robertson. 100% release speed. And the blending is 35% Eubanks, 65%. Oscar Robertson. If you are strictly shooting catch and shoots, there is no better jump shot in the entire game than this jump shot right here. Super quick, people won't be able to contest you, but also ridiculously easy to time. And most importantly, your player will release the ball extremely high, so the contest will always be as low as possible. And now for my six foot four and under build. Honestly, if it were up to me, there was only one jump shot you need on this list, and that is this one right here. Bay Stephen Curry release one Oscar Robertson release to Darius Garland, 100% release speed, and the blending is 85% Robertson, 15% Darius Garland. Once you put this jump shot, once you put this jump shot on and get used to whatever timing is your preference, set point, push, release, it really doesn't matter. You will be greening everything. It really doesn't even matter what timing you want. You can do push. It's literally personal preference. This jump shot is so fast and so chicken, it's ridiculous. I cannot give a higher vouch for a jump shot than I would for this jump shot right here. For six foot four and under is this is as good as it gets unless your starter three and can unlock patty mills base i'm not even gonna put that jump shot in this video because i don't think many people are hitting starter three but if you are starter three put on patty mills base with these same releases and you will be shooting over people just like the six foot sixes are with tracy mcgrady so yeah if you're not starter three this is the jump shot for you i can almost guarantee it if you are starter three put on patrick mills instead of steph curry and go crazy but i will give y'all some other options just in case is base j Jalen Brunson, release one Oscar Robertson, release two Cullen Sexton, 100% release speed in the blending is 70% Oscar Robertson, 30% Colin Sexton. And you only need an 89 midi or an 89 three pointer to equip this jump shot. This is my new main jump shot that has survived every single patch on this game and has me shooting a great percentage my first 150 games. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it's only gonna go up because bro, look at how clean this jump shot shot is. This is the jump shot I have equipped in these clips and let me tell you I am 100% confident every single time I get wide open but the beauty of this jump shot is its ability to green 20% contest and under. If y'all don't know being a 6 foot 4 and under guard is easily the hardest position in this entire game because ghost contests are a very real thing this year. It seems like if anybody gets an arm's reach of you you are getting a Casper ghost contest every single time. But with this jump shot and a maxed out A plus release speed, A minus defense immunity, A minus release height. It almost seems like contest doesn't matter sometimes. I'm telling you, I green so many 20% and under contests and with sharp takeover, I be greening 50% red contest like it's easy. I highly recommend you try this jump shot. Now I am a set point user. I use set point on all my jump shots, but the most reported success this jump shot has had has been on push timing. So you can 
either try set point first and then go to push or you could try push first and then go to set point if you don't like it either way. I fully believe you are going to love this jump shot. Now we're going to dive into the competitive side of 2k. A very common jump shot in the competitive scene is base Markel Fultz release one. I'm not even going to pretend like I know how to pronounce his first name. Release two Damian Lillard. 100% release speed and the blending is 78% Dort, 22% Damian Lillard. You only need an 83 midi or an 83 three pointer for this jump shot and it is one of the most commonly used jump shots in competitive pro-am for a reason. Here let me show you what it looks like right you cook up from deep doesn't matter it's green. I already knew it was green before it even went in bro it is so easy to time. I feel like it's that easy to time because of the Markel Folds base bro but like look at it just look how smooth the jumper looks in general bro like it looks ridiculous. I'm trying to talk and green at the same time and it's mad easy. Imagine when you just locked in with your teammates and you just trying to play. I'm gonna green one more for y'all with no stamina. Look, so I got to hold it longer and it's still green. You feel me? Like this jump shot is really good. I see why they use it in competitive pro. -in. And last but not least for the six foot four and under builds, the literal fastest jump shot in the entire game, meaning you cannot find a faster jump shot than this jump shot, is base John Stockton, release one Colin Sexton, release two Colin Sexton, and the blending doesn't matter because the same releases, so 100% release speed. This is tested to be the absolute fastest jump shot in the game with the highest green window. So if you're someone who likes to tap the the X button or tap the square button if you're on PlayStation, this is the jump shot for you. Now you would think the fastest jump shot in the game would be ridiculously hard to time. I use set point and I could still time it perfect and it's because of the Colin Sexton releases. It is just a crazy fast jump shot. Like this is not a jump shot I would recommend for casual players because it is going to take some labbing to get good with it. But if you master this jump shot, nobody is contesting you. Look how fast you get that off bro. Like who's going to jump at you bro? Super man look my stamina is low bang still timed it i can't describe it like it feels weird and i know that like if i played with this for like 10 games i'd get it down but bro i'm telling you if you get this down this jump shot is chicken bro the only thing i don't like about it is when you lower your stamina like this i just ran around in a circle like that it is kind of hard to time when you have no stamina see i'm gonna try it Nah, yeah, it's a little hard to time with no stamina. So that's one thing to keep in mind. You want to shoot early in the shot clock. You don't want to dribble it out and then try to time it. Or maybe if you master, you could time it regardless. But yeah, if you're him and you're willing to put the time in, this jump shot might be the best jump shot in the entire game because you will never get contested when you use it. And last but not least, my six foot 10 and up center builds. In the past, I didn't have many jump shots for y'all because I never had a six foot 10 build. But now I've made multiple six foot 10 builds, which means I got multiple jump shots for y'all Starting with my absolute favorite jump shot, the jump shot I use on all my stretch bigs. Base Eric Pascal, release one Marvin Bagley the third, release two Tim Duncan, and the blending is 23% Marvin Bagley, 77% Tim Duncan on 100% release speed. Bro, I cannot stress enough that y'all need to try this jump shot first before any other jump shot. I am so confident you're gonna try this jump shot and you're gonna fall in love and never use any other jump shot ever again. And here, let me show y'all why bro look how smooth that jumper is bro i'm on a seven foot 65 overall build by the way and this jump shot is this smooth on a 60 overall bro all i got upgraded is my shooting like bro look at it look at it look how clean this jumper is it's so smooth on the catch it's amazing it's a really clean jumper bro i just could not recommend this more bro like i absolutely love it it's so consistent and it is my main jumper on all my stretch bigs for a reason. The next jump shot I recommend should not be a shocker to anybody who plays center in this game. It is base David Robinson, release one LaMarcus Aldridge, release two Julius Randle, 100% release speed, and the blending is 58% LaMarcus Aldridge, 42% Julius Randle. Another extremely smooth jumper, but this one you have to hold a little bit longer than my jump shot. You're gonna see most of the shots that I miss are gonna be slightly early because I'm used to my jumper. It is a really smooth jumper though. I highly recommend this jumper. It feels good. I'm just too used to my timing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm shooting slightly early so i'm gonna have to hold it a little bit longer to get the green which feels weird to me because i'm used to my jumper that's mad quick but there it is you know what i'm saying 2k players can adjust but i'm telling you once you get this jump shot down it's gonna be super easy to use it's just gonna be a little longer than the first jump shot i showed y'all which is why sometimes you see me shooting slightly early the next jump shot again should not be a surprise it is base jonathan isaac release one tim duncan release two dirk nowitzki 100 release speed and it's 68 tim duncan 32 dirk nowitzki 
Now this jump shot is for my people who like visual cues because the release height is ridiculously high. You're gonna see on this first jumper if the dude would come over here so I could do my video. Like bro, you're gonna hijack my court. At least come here so I could do my video. All right, release height is super high. You can see the high arc on that, bro. And that was my first shot with this jump shot ever. You could really just see the release cue and just know when to release it. Like right there, it's gonna be green every single time. Obviously, like I said, I'm on set point. So I'm releasing it right when it reaches the top of my head. But if I was on push right there, that'd be a green where it flicks his wrist, which I think might be best for this jump shot. Just looking at the visual cue, I think push might be best for this jump shot. So you could actually release it at the flick of the wrist. See, I'm releasing it late because I'm trying to release it at the flick of the wrist. But for set point, the visual cue is right when the ball reaches the top of your head right before you flick your wrist. And last but not least, the final jump shot of this video is base Eric Pascal, release one O'Shea Brissett, release two Tim Duncan, max release speed, and the blending is 15% O'Shea Brissett, 85% Tim Duncan. Just another version of the Eric Pascal base, just in case y'all don't like the first one that I use, you could try this one out. One that I use is very quick, and this one I can tell is a lot slower, but it's easier to time once you get used to it. Obviously, I'm used to quick timings, y'all know me, I like quick jump shots. This one isn't slow by any means, but it is slower than mine, so it's a little hard for me to time. But here, I'll show y'all one last green with full stamina, because it's the easiest time to green, and that should be it right there. And I was not lying, y'all, I'm on a 65 overall 7 foot center build that I'm going to be upgrading later, so I could play the wreck and grind it and stuff like that but anyways y'all those are all the jump shots for every single build in the game if you have a jump shot that's been working for you don't gatekeep bro drop it in the comments you know what i'm saying we're all trying to have fun out here but anyways y'all thank you so much for watching make sure to drop a like drop a sub with notifications on and as always keep grinding falling falling two k we never be falling retro she never be calling still hitting shots while they steady be taunting falling falling two k we never be 